Um, yeah, I, th I thought it was, uh, you know, having such a young core of players come in, um, you know, the expectation was, you know, somewhat moderate. Uh, however, we, we knew we had a talented bunch. Uh, as the season wore on, you had your ups and downs, as a lot of the younger players will. Um, however, our leadership from our seniors as well as our juniors uh, really carried us into uh, the month of October, you know, uh, barely got in and, uh, you know, the skim of our teeth almost um, come the uh, end of October, early November. Um, it was, I remember the, the night here too after our senior game, uh, last home game we had here, uh, came down to a, a three-way tiebreaker. Uh, and, you know, we had 150 people out here in the mezzanine and it was very electric. Um, so I think a lot of the younger players saw the importance of making it to an A-10 tournament. Um, it had happened four years previously. Um, but, it, you know, it, what the great experience was, was for younger players to realize that this has to be our expectation every year, uh, that it's, it's a bad season if we're not there. Um, and now for our, our leaders and the players that have experienced it to know that uh, this is where we want to be, you know, come November. And I, I think the program's at a, at a state right now where we're not just happy to be in the Atlantic 10 tournament. Um, I remember talking to, you know, to Dr. Brennan at the uh, Atlantic 10 tournament in Rhode Island. And, you know, we talked about the experience that these kids are going to gain by coming in in these, these you know, the you know, lose you go home type of games. Um, the, the thing that they learn is to, to fight and persevere uh, and then to have that, that pressure play. Uh, it really gave those kids an, an understanding of what that level meant. Um, and that's where I think, you know, a, a team like Charlotte, they had been there for four straight years. They knew what it was like winning games. Um, and moving forward, I think our kids will, you know, be a lot hungrier now come November, not just be happy to be there. Um, you know, we just saw that, I, I think, with the NBA playoffs too, where uh, LeBron James was happy to get to the final and what happens. You know, so that's our goal is to not just be – uh, content with just making it to the Atlantic 10 tournament now. You know, we want to be that team that's competing with the Charlottes and the Daytons um, on a day-to-day on -day basis. And with the talent we have coming in, with the talent that we have here, uh, I think this could be a very magical year if, if we're healthy and, you know, players perform up to their expectations. Yeah, so in those situations, uh, we did have a little bit of adversity. Um, but we just had so much confidence from our younger players. You know, they were no longer, in my mind, freshmen. Um, and I know Renee had a, an incredible game. You know, Anna was, you know, dribbling through the, the back line as well. Um, but it was, it was the attitude that our kids had uh, that we weren't going to lose that game. Uh, and we had that same type of confidence against Charlotte. Uh, it was really the difference of one player, you know, really having the game of her life that, that made that, that result, uh, um, you know, the way it was. I remember talking to the team at halftime and we're down 3-1 and, you know, th there was a, a look in their eye that we're not out of it, you know. So I think that that Duquesne game proved to our kids that, you know, we can continue to, to really fight and survive in those games and, and now win them.